Okay. So I got this question. Any advice for a new trader with no position in quantum, but I've been following and interested. So it got me thinking if I had to recommend one ticker symbol to take advantage of quantum and the potential returns over the next one, two, and five years, it's actually an ETF called QTUM, the Defiance Quantum ETF. And this ETF has had very good performance after the last five years and is trading near its all-time high. So we're going to go into all of that and let's jump right in. And one of the tough things about quantum at this point is a lot of those stocks are really expensive, especially compared to their negative revenue or lack of current earnings. So for me, when I get asked this question, it's not a super simple or straightforward answer. But today I wanted to talk about QTUM, Defiance Quantum ETF, which I think is a great way to get a lot of exposure in your portfolio to quantum without having single stock diversification risk. ETF, and basically an ETF in this case, is a basket of different equities that a team manages on your behalf and they charge you an expense ratio. And currently they have, it looks like $1.3 billion under management. So this is a pretty large ETF. They have some price history, which we'll actually look at in trading views. And we'll look at their full holdings as well. So let's jump into that. So if you're looking to get into quantum, but you're not sure where to start, then if you just grab some ticker symbol QTUM, you get all of these companies. And the last time I looked, I think QBTS was more like three to 5% of the whole of the holdings for Defiance. But that ETF weight has gone up to 7.6% because QBTS value has gone up a lot and they have 5.6 million shares. So they also hold some Palantir, which is a really high performing growth stock that is looking like it's going to have a fantastic 2025 and 2026. They hold 2 million, 2.4 million shares of Rigetti. Noflake, which has been doing well. IBM is on here and IBM has a lot of uh, solid quantum presence. They have TSM. They have Microsoft. They have some NVIDIA. Honeywell, Intel, these are all names that we talk about occasionally on the channel, and they all have uh, different stories as they relate to quantum. So you get exposure to a lot of large cap, mid cap, and even small cap. And not all of these are specifically quantum. Some of them are quantum adjacent or they're tech or semiconductors or in that field. Um, AMD, for example, looks like it could be a very good growth stock in the next three to five years. Google has, of course, their Google Willow. And that's a nice, uh, Marvell's had a nice 2024 and 2025. So it's a nice basket, essentially, of different tickers. And if we kind of, I want to show you guys two, stock, two uh, ticker symbols. So we're going to look at the SPY. So currently, QTUM is trading at $88 a share. Let's go back one year. I don't think this Defiance Quantum ETF has been around forever. Looks like it started back in 2019 and it started at $21 a share. If we just kind of measure that performance over a five-year period, it looks like an investor that got into the QTM ETF has seen a 255% return in the last uh, about five, six years. And if we look at the chart, we can also see that for this ticker, most of the volume has come in in the late 2024 and early 2025, which really tracks with the acceleration in the space. 
We also see that QTM isn't too far away from its all-time high, which was looks like just shy of 92 a share. So that might seem like, oh, you know, this is a this stock is or this ticker is at its all-time high, so it can't go any higher. Well, I'd actually give you a different way to look at this. So now let's go back five years in the SPY. So in the in the same time period, let's we'll say that around 2019, if we draw, if we kind of do the exact same thing we just did. So around 2019 is when the QTM Defiance ETF came out and we saw that it gave a 240% return over that same time period. The SPY has gone from 242 a share to almost 600 per share for a 148% return. So if we're just looking at the SPY and QTUM, QTM has outperformed. Now let's go back even further. And this is kind of where I think the appealing thing with buying QTM is. So when was the last time that QTUM was trading at $80 a share, which is where, when was the last time SPY was trading at $88 a share? So the last time was 2009. And since 2009, the SPY has returned 750% since 2009 with some bumps along the, on the, uh, along the way. But overall, so if you can kind of imagine QTM and quantum and, and the theme and all the money that's going to come into quantum in the coming years, we might just be at the very beginning of what this chart is going to look like. So it may seem like, oh, 88 a share is, that's that's pretty high because this chart is looking pretty high. But then if we go back and look at SPY over the course of 10, 15, 20 years, the SPY at one point you could buy for $90, 88 a share, and now it's 600 a share. So I think if, if quantum can continue accelerating, and if this space can continue accelerating, and if tech continues to do well, then this ETF will just become more and more valuable. And it does actually seem like a good entry point for, from my lens, from my perspective, with the, the acceleration that I expect in the space. So I do hold this ticker in my Roth along with a lot of the individual stocks. And for those that are new to this space and they want one ticker to get exposure to quantum without needing to go through this stress of doing their diligence on all of the different tickers that are out there in the space, I would definitely consider QTUM as a very interesting way to get exposure to some of these names. And you also get exposure to IonQ. I think I missed that the first time. So you get exposure to all of the names. I'm not sure if they have LAES in this basket, this ETF at this point, but at some point, hopefully they'll, they'll get LAES in there. But anyhow, uh, that is my recommendation on one quantum stock to buy to take advantage of the quantum revolution. For those that are interested, if you go over to the quantumbull.com and you click on invest, you'll find that I pretty regularly update the quantum eight. And this is my single stock list. So if you're interested in picking certain stocks, I have D-Wave is number one, IonQ is number two, IBM is number three, Google is number four, Rigetti at five, Amazon at six, Microsoft at seven, and SealsQ LAES at eight.